Okay, so I got something a little different planned today. I'm going right now for you guys. Um, let's see. We're gonna need this for this mod guy. So, what we're doing today is a mod guide on the Maverick. I'll be right back. Forgot to grab something. Today I'm going to teach you how to do this with your Maverick. This is my blue one. I'm going to do that to the yellow one and show you how. So. What you're going to need is the blaster, screwdrivers, I, I like to have multiple different types just in case, these here. And for the optional part of the mod, you'll need a Dremel. You'll need the sanding bit. Otherwise, you won't be able to do this one. But first off, make sure you're not loaded. You're good. This thing is unloaded, so I'm good to go. Next part is to start unscrewing it. Now, I grabbed multiple types of screwdrivers because I don't know what one will fit and what ones will fit in what each hole. So I'm going to try the yellow one first, which is usually my go-to, and that's our first snag. It doesn't fit into this part right here. So I'm going to have to use a thinner screwdriver. Alright. Sometimes I'll leave the screws in. Every once in a while I'll take them out if I'm working on Something that would be on the other side of the blaster. This would fit pretty well. There we go. Don't fall right out, no worries. Uh oh. A screw fell into here, which may happen to you guys, maybe not, who knows. But I gotta go open this up more in order to get that screw out. I'll get that screw out after I get this thing open because I have to open this thing up to get to the next part of this anyway. The screwdriver seems to fit the other holes. I don't know about the other one, the ones up front yet. These are very long screws, keep in mind. 
I believe they're all about this size screw. So if you're in, in need of like extra long screws for a project, this would be good actually if you're not modifying it and you're stripping it down for parts. Me, I'm modifying this. Alright. Um, let's see. I'm gonna get this open, I'll be right back. Okay. It's open. And you're greeted with a reverse plunger. Which is upsetting, sure, but it's not too hard to work with if you know what you're doing. I don't, so I'm not going to mess with the spring. Okay. We want this, so... Taking that out. Um, let's see. What I'm going to do is kind of swap things around for a quick second. In order to do the barrel, the cylinder drop mod for the Recon, the uh, Maverick, excuse me. Uh, that's the barrel insert, don't lose it. Alright. I'm going to take the, everything out and put them aside for now. Uh, excuse me. Makes it easier. doing is I'm sanding down this nubbin right here which counteracts with these nubbins I'm gonna be sanding off that one too probably don't know if I have to yet Still a little rough, so I'm probably gonna I'm gonna use my sandpaper and smooth it down the rest of the way. A simple mod to do. Sand it down more just in case.
Okay. Covered in salt and gold and <coughs> dust. Okay, that's done. Put this back together. Pay attention to what you're doing when you put take this thing apart by the way so you know how to put it back together. Watch out for the catch spring, it's a slippery one. There we go. Put that back in. Everything's ready to be put back together once I get the uh, cylinder section up. It's set up and ready to go. Alright, so. Next part you need is needle nose pliers. Ow. Be careful, obviously. real quick be careful he's like the shoot off okay that'll work on getting the cylinder apart to get to the air restrictors there's three screws in the back to fell out. Don't want to remove it just yet. I'm going to save that for... We're going to save the easiest part for last. Or you can take him out now. It's up to you. This is a pretty good pin if you decide to take this thing out.
That nub that was right there. That was in its this spot before. It's completely sanded down. You have to sand down that and you're good to go. Alright. Now let's see if I can hurry up and do this. So that way I have this ready for a uh, any kind of war I decide to go to in the future. Put your drum all away, you don't need it anymore. But now you can work on getting the air restrictors out. See? That's the air restrictor. There's six of them. Get them all out. Get the air restrictor out and its corresponding spring. I'm going to snip off these dart posts. Throw out air, the air restrictors and the springs. You don't need them. There you go. Garbaggio. I'm snipping off these dart posts, which you could just easily do. Just be ready for things to start going flying. There's the post. Here's the thing. You put it back on. There we go. And you put that back on. You don't need to sand those down. They can stay like that. Snip. Oops. There we go. You got three left to do now. Snip. 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 Done. Now, put it all back together. We'll be right back. Uh, excuse me. So, at this point, you're putting this thing together, I hope. Take care though, if you remove the air restrictors, it'll be very, very fragile sometimes. There'll be a chance you might accidentally damage your plunger tube and blow out the back of it if you dry fire it. And if you go on Facebook, on my Facebook, I go live often with video, with gaming, and stuff like that. So, if you want to join that, you're more than welcome to. Now your mod is done. Air restrictors are gone. Dart posts are removed. But, I kept 
the dark posts. As you can see, now, like I said, can't dry fire this, but now you'll be able to use Stefan's in this blaster. I'm gonna grab three of the worker belts. Using three Stefans turns this into, not three, two Stefans in each barrel, turns it into an effective Stefan shotgun pistol. So, you're good to go there. Well, if you follow the mod guide, you'll be fine. It should work, and you should be okay. That being said, I appreciate you guys for joining. Be with you soon. I'll be with you in another video tomorrow.